I'm Sergeant Bobby Sloan. I'm from Sudbury, Ontario. I'm a firefighter presently serving on board HMCS Montreal. And I'm Corporal Clint Killam from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. And I'm a firefighter at A-Wing Trenton. Wherever our Navy ships sail, wherever our forces train, fight, and fly, we're there, ready to cope with anything that gets thrown our way. We do a lot more than fight fires in land and sea, in buildings and in the bush. We respond to aircraft, helicopter, and vehicle incidents. We drive the firefighting vehicles, keep fire detection and suppression systems in working order, respond to hazmat spills, and maintain self-contained breathing apparatus. And we're trained for confined space and technical rescue as well. It takes courage and commitment to be a military firefighter, but the rewards are huge. Great pay, world-class gear, global travel, naval deployment, the chance for promotion, and being part of one of the most highly trained and versatile firefighting teams in Canada. When we do get called out to work, it almost 99% of the time means that somebody else is not having a good day. They've called us because things aren't right in their world. And it's kind of nice for us that we can come in with our skill set and we can make that a better place. The part that I enjoy most about the job is the unpredictability of it. Every time the bell goes, you don't know exactly what you're responding to. And is there a plane? Is there a fire? Is there a medical emergency? Until you get on the scene, your adrenaline is at a high. We may not have the call volume that a civilian department downtown Toronto or downtown Halifax has, but our skill set is something that uh, each one of them would dream to have. It's, it's incredible the, the training that we do have and how we can integrate it all together where the civilian departments would never ever be able to even come close to something like that. I think the other thing is that uh, being a military firefighter is you're deployable. You can see the world. Uh, you can see things that no other department has. Opportunities for travel with uh, regards to the Navy. Well, once you're on the ship, you're part of the Navy. You're going to every corner of the globe. After basic training, firefighters spend about eight months in Borden, Ontario. You'll start out with basic driver training to prepare you for driving and operating our specialized equipment. Then you'll shift over to the Canadian Forces Fire Academy for really intensive training in every facet of the firefighting trade. How to attack structural, wildland and aircraft fires, aircraft and vehicle rescue, as well as fire safety and prevention. Every ounce of training we do, we throw in as much realism as we possibly can. The Canadian Forces Fire Academy is an accredited institution that has been recognized as one of the best in the world, with 27 levels of accreditation. The Academy is, is actually the best training school in Canada. Once you're done working there for a day, you, you know that you've given your all. Coming here, you're obviously the new guy. Uh, everyone puts you through your paces when you first come to a hall. It's all good fun, and they just want to see what kind of uh, material you're made of. You'll be doing a lot of fire prevention education, and of course, responding to the alarms and emergency situations. Daily, you come in and inspect your vehicles and make sure everything's in operational working order. Uh, after that, you have daily maintenance that you go out. Uh, you collect extinguishers around the base, uh, make sure that they're in proper working condition. We have sprinkler systems we take care of, and not to mention the contractors who work on the base need to have inspections of their job sites to make sure the fire prevention is uh, enforced. If you're at an Air Force base like I am, you'll also be prepared for every kind of aircraft incident. Fire suppression, crew extraction, fuel spills. After your first tour on a base, you'll do your first naval sea tour, learning the unique challenges of firefighting at sea. The firefighting trade offers great opportunities for promotion and advancement. In a reasonable time, you can work your way up to fire prevention inspector, platoon chief, or deputy fire chief. You can also have the opportunity to become a fire chief. When you talk to your, your brother in, in civilian departments, and you, you mention the places you've seen, the things you've done, and the training you've gotten, uh, they're almost in awe of what you, you're capable of. Uh, the camaraderie is second to none. <laughs> We're a, a big family once we come to work. After hours, you hang out with them, you know, a brotherhood. Anybody out there that's looking at the fire profession and looking at it for uh, the excitement of the profession, this is absolutely the place to come. 